My name is Christy and I'm from Duluth, Minnesota, so not so far from here, just about a three hour drive down the Highway 61. And I grew up um, coming up here with my grandma. She's actually 75 and she still comes up almost every year. I just always loved it. It feels like home. I just love being out in the woods. It's just so great to get away from the city. Even though Duluth isn't huge and it's close, it's just totally different when you're actually here. So at Voyager, we have just a smorgasbord of food we offer here. Um, right behind me, you can see this is most of our freeze-dried stuff. It's a big majority of what we send out with our groups just because it's non-perishable. It lasts um, for however long of a trip you want to go on or um, it's also a lighter weight than fresh food. But we do offer fresh food. We send out bread and cheese and steaks. A lot of people request steaks for their first night. If you're getting um, the fresh and frozen food, you're going to want to eat it in the first couple days so it doesn't go bad but nothing like being out camping and having a fresh steak around the campfire. So a lot of people like that stuff. We have kebabs, we have chicken breasts, we have you name it, we got it. We'll send it out, we'll find it for you. So right here I'm packing a trip. Um, this is for a group of six. This will be the food that they eat for four days. Um, and we set it out by meal and I am compiling all the freeze dried and vacuum sealed food at once and then the fresh and frozen go in the morning of the trip so they're as fresh as can be. Um, we have, for instance, this is their first lunch. It's trail mix and Voyager cookies, pita, peanut butter, jelly. It's just something kind of quick that they can eat um, as they're portaging out to um, their campsite. You know, you don't really want to stop and cook hot dogs like three hours into your first day. Um, free water bottles we give out to all our groups that come through and get the um, get food through us. Um, we have extra snacks, nothing like working up an appetite on the trail. Um, so we have like cookies, fruit snacks, candy bars, just something to satisfy your sweet tooth. Um, Boda bag for those who are interested in having a little wine out there, a little fancy schmancy party. Um, we have coffee and tea and Kool-Aids. I, I prefer just to drink the water. I think it's just a lot easier than carrying around. These can get kind of heavy, um, but people still want them. We send them out. This is our larger cook kit for our bigger groups. Otherwise, we have a smaller set to um, just cuts back on weight. And then we have different handles for each, depending on which size cook kit you're going to need. So you just kind of stick it right in that little notch, and you're good to go. Do some flapjacks. Um, and all of the silverware comes in this really cool little tote. I've seen people even like hang them up with these holes around a tree. Just kind of accessible. So you have your spatula and your fillet knife and all your silverware that you're going to need in there. Um, this is a water jug. You filter your water out of the lake right into here and then you don't have to fill up every time you're going to cook. Um, a griddle. Down here we have a griddle. In case you're making pancakes or uh, French toast for a big group of people, it's easier than just a pan. Um, it's pretty heavy though, so this is kind of a trade-off. Do you want to cook up one or two pancakes at a time um, just it, with what we send out in the cook kit? And this would be what you would use. This is the top of the cook kit. It doubles as a pan. Or do you want this like hefty cast iron griddle? I go with the cook kit, personally. Um, this is our uh, washing set. We have like a scouring pad, hot pads, dish rig, so you can do all your dishes. Or we'll do them for you when you get back. <laughs> One way or the other, they'll get done.